Then put down the tweezers. Full thick eyebrows are the in thing right now, but if you were born with them, don't worry. The new options that you have to get your brows, show them just how you want them. Full eyebrows are having a major fashion moment. Entire Sephora aisles and YouTube tutorials are dedicated to helping you achieve Instagram worthy brows. And in search of the trendy look, more people have been turning to a procedure that's raising some eyebrows. From Cara Delevingne to Gigi Hadid, Sofia Vergara, and Eva Mendez, power brows have taken center stage on the catwalk and in Hollywood. Bushy brow trend. I've been obsessed with it since I've seen it. Brow YouTube tutorials are uploaded every day, netting big bucks for those in the brow biz, with brow sales arching up. Women will leave the house without lipstick, without mascara, but not without the brows. Some are paying big bucks for semi-permanent tattoos called microblading. Your goal is to blend it that you can't tell which one is her actual hair and which one is me. But now women are actually going under the knife, brow transplants. Dr. Sam Lamb, a Plano hair transplant surgeon, says he's seen the uptick too, a procedure that used to be pretty rare. Now he performs as often as once a week. The trend in the last two years has been tremendous. I think probably due to overplucking or the trend toward fuller eyebrows now. Cynthia Jones confesses to overplucking in the 70s when that was the look. But then I didn't have any. They had just disappeared. She tried every gel and pencil on the market, drawing on her eyebrows daily. Her secret didn't fool her granddaughter. And she comes up and gives me a big hug and she said, Grandma, how can we only have one eyebrow on? <laughs> I thought, oh my gosh, how long all day have I only had one eyebrow on? She came to Dr. Lamb after a failed brow transplant at another location. One thing you're seeing is all the scarring that's going on. This is what she looks like now, one year after her procedure with Dr. Lamb. We spoke to her minutes after a touch-up surgery. You know, it almost feels like I have a headache, but it's not pain. I wouldn't call it pain. The procedure lasts from two and a half to four hours. It involves harvesting hair from behind the head. Dr. Lamb's team dissects active follicles. It's science and art to create a realistic brow. It's just basically like planting flowers. You just move a flower from one bed to the next and then it grows. Recovery can take up to a week. Swelling is common. Patients see full results in six to 10 months. I tell my, my students this is the most technically challenging thing to do well. The biggest risk of eyebrow transplantation is going to someone that's not qualified. In most cases, the transplanted hair continues to grow like it would on your scalp. Right, they need to trim their hairs every few days. Oh, I definitely think it was worth it. Joan says she wasn't pursuing a trend. She wanted her own natural brows back, which just happened to be on trend. I just think I look more alert, more awake, um, probably maybe a little younger, I hope. <laughs> Trends come and go, but good brows are timeless. Now, this is not a decision that should be made lightly. Consider the investment. It can cost about $5,000 and do your due diligence. Research your surgeon thoroughly and understand the risks. Going under the knife is certainly not for everyone. If your brows are just thin, Dr. Lamb says, you can see big results with a prescription treatment like Latisse, for instance. Very interesting. She looks great, by the way. Those she does. Are, yeah. She looks beautiful. Yeah.